Okay, before we start, I just want to reintroduce Sigma again. Make sure we realize use your darn calculator, right? As long as there's only one variable, which there is, it's just N, we can use Sigma. So everyone grab on into a calculator. So we can just, this is just a review question first. Grab onto a calculator. Where do I go to get the Sigma again? Hasn't been that long. Alpha window. Alpha window. Oops, sorry. How about I go alpha window? Number two. And remember, everyone see this parenthesis that they give me here. All of this needs to go into that single parenthesis that they provide. All right, or we are going to get all different answers. All right, so any you can leave it X if you want, but so I have go ahead, see if you can type it in on your own and we can get the same result here. I notice I put everything in that same set of parentheses it gave me. Twelve thousand two hundred eighty-five. Anybody need help with the calc? Are we good? All right. I just wanted to review, make sure we know. It. Sometimes we forget that that's on the calculator, and we can just do it there. All right, so here we go now. Today, how do I, uh, if I have, uh, let's say, 3, 9, 27, 54, one, one last review here. How do I know that's geometric versus arithmetic? Because Friday, you're going to have both there. Multiply. multiply by a number. What number am I multiplying by? Three. three. What's that number called again? The three is my what value? R, R value called the common ratio. Okay, that's what I multiply by. Today... Here's what we're doing today. Three plus nine plus 27 plus 54. Remember we call that now a series when I add them up, a series. We do not have to build a sigma for geometric. Instead, look on your formula sheets if you have one in front of you. If not, look on somebody next to you. This is a formula on your formula sheet. Everyone see geometric series written now. That is to add, add all the terms in a geometric sequence. And we can write it down here, S sub N, S is for sum, all right, S is for sum. I take the first term, I even have to look at this, minus first term times the common ratio raised to the N all over one minus the common ratio. Good thing we don't have to remember that. Okay, so that's what we're going to use today. I want to know the total today. What do all these numbers add up to? I'm not concerned about an individual number. What do they all add up to in a geometric series? All right, let's roll the number two now. Let's roll the number two. Before we say, before we start plugging numbers into a formula, I got to be solid that you know what the heck this notation means. All right, first one, what's two? First term. This N is telling me that's how many terms we're going to add up. Or, yeah, how many terms we're going to add up. And R is... So if I just asked you right now to write the first couple numbers in this sequence, could you? What are you going to start with? What's the next one? Why six? You multiply everything by three, right? What's the next one? 18, and we could keep going on, right? But does everyone see that now? And now I'm asking you, now add up the first 10 terms of this sequence. All right, I want to make sure you know what I'm asking instead of just plopping, plopping stuff into a formula. So everyone good. There's the sequence. You're going to add them up now for me using the formula on the formula sheet. So S, how many terms are we adding up? 10. So everyone look, I'm putting the subscript of 10 there because that tells me I'm adding up the first 10 terms of this sequence. First term, two, two minus first term again, two, R value of three, and I'm raising that to the... 10, everyone's good so far. Just plugging in my values. Over 1 minus 
Don't play around with this. Put the whole darn thing in your fraction template and go. Don't go, oh, I'm going to do the numerator and then the, something's going to go wrong. All right, plug this whole darn thing right there into your fraction template with parentheses and everything. 2 minus 2 times 3 raised to the 10th. And the first response to get, wow, that's such a large number. It's not a number in the sequence. It's the what? What is this right here? That's adding all the first 10 terms. It's not an actual term. It's adding all the first 10 terms, and that's what they add up to. 59,048. Questions going. We okay? Basic here. All right. Let's see what else you got. The sum of the first eight terms of this series. So if you want to see this out, written out, what's the first term here? Three. Three. Now watch. Ready? Because I got a couple follow-up questions here. What's the next term? Negative 12. Next term. 48. Now, whoa, 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 wait a second here. I get it. It's geometric day, but Friday, you're not going to know what the heck's in front of you. How do I know this is geometric instead of going to uh, a sigma for arithmetic? Mm -hmm. Multiplying. We established that, yes? Because I, I know, I get it. It's geometric. Get off my case, Mr. Crelion. Get off my case. But Friday, guys, you're going to be staring at this problem, and you're going to have to decide, is this arithmetic or geometric? We okay why it's geometric? All right, find the first of the sum of the first eight terms now. So S with a subscript of 8. First term is 3. Oh, geez, I could keep looking at this. Minus 3 times. Okay, be careful. What's my R value here? And again, if you're unsure, don't even yell anything out. If you're unsure, what did I show you yesterday? Pick any term but the first, obviously, and divide by the previous. If you're ever unsure. So you want to do negative 12 divided by 3, 48 divided by negative 12. Doesn't matter. What's my R value? Negative 4. So make sure that bad boy is in parentheses there. Negative 4 raised to the 8th N over, who be careful here, right? 1, what's that bottom going to look like? Minus, minus. minus and negative 4, right? Don't put, hey, hey, you put 1 minus 4, you're telling me your R value is 4. All right, one minus a negative four. If you want to be creative and put plus right now, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Let's figure out what the sum is here. And we're looking at negative 39,321. Questions, comments, any concerns? We're all good. All right, a little bit more challenging here, number four. Find the sum of this geometric. All right, I came right out and said it was geometric, so we know we got to use that sum formula off the formula sheet. Uh, what am I giving you here? Because I want to understand what's being given instead of just trying to punch in numbers again. What, what's the 2,000? Okay, so I know I'm starting this sequence with 2,000. What's this here? AN equals 125. That's just some term in the sequence is 125, right? I, I can't tell you a second, third, fourth, fifth. I just know some term... In the sequence is 125. And what's this telling me here? R equals one half. That's how much you multiply. Well, that's what you multiply everything by. So basically, here's what I'm asking. From 2,000 to 125, now I don't know the terms in the middle, but what do they all add up to? 
all right, from 2000 to 125. What do they all add up to? That's what I'm trying to find. Now, let's be honest here. Sometimes, do I, do I accept your work if you don't use my formula? Do I still accept it? Darn right I do. And sometimes it may just make more sense instead of getting frustrated and trying to use the formula. Maybe I just want to do this one out by hand. Why would that be a good idea here? Well, I know it's 2,000. Can you guys find the next term? Why 1,000? 2,000 times a half. What's the next term? What's the next term? Next one? And look at what all those add up to. Okay, right? I don't need to go any further because that was where they wanted me to stop. At, at any term there, 125. Go all the way there. So if you add them all up now, I just threw this one in that said, hey, maybe you're struggling with the sum formula and you don't know that it's, what, five terms? Okay, maybe write them out. Any questions? 3,875. So guys, if you got to do it out by hand, you do it out by hand. How many of you did that whole uh, theater? How many seats are in the theater? 30 rows by hand. I saw you write out all those numbers and you got it. All right, good job. I'm not going to fight you. Kate? When I did the formula, yeah. I got 4,000. Did you use five for N? What did you plug in your formula? Mm -hmm. So you use 2,000, yeah. right, minus 2,000 times R, which was 1 half. Yeah. Now remember, N is the number of terms you're adding up. So if you put a 125 here, you're telling me you're adding up 125 terms. But look, 2,000 to 125 only ended up being five terms. What's that? No, we don't have to. You could have said, all right, that's one, two, three, four, five terms and plugged in five. But yet, yeah, you would have to do it out. Because I'm avoiding this. I, I'm doing it on purpose, Kate and everybody else. The only way you'd be able to find the N value is by doing logs. And I don't really prefer to inter reintroduce logs today. So, sorry. Okay, you're welcome. Somebody else had a question about this one? Okay, here we go. Uh, two word problems. Because this is what the Regents exam in January likes to ask about. You guys can start see Paisley, she runs uh, eight miles the first week and she increases it by 5%. She's going to do it for 18 weeks. What's the total number of miles? First thing, and here's some of you guys uh, made a little mistake on this on the quiz with the theater question. I don't want how many miles she ran in in week 18. How do I know I want the overall amount? What word is there? Total, total. I even put it in italics for you, total. So don't, oh, I don't want this. A18 equals A1, the formula we used yesterday. This will find you how many miles she ran in week 18. I'm trying to find the total amount, total. So that is why I'm going to the sum formula from today. All right, please read carefully. Total means sum. So just let me rewrite that equation. All right. How many numbers would be in this sequence if we wrote them out? 18, right? 18 weeks. So she ran the sum of 18. What was the first week? A1. Okay, everyone with me? Eight minus eight, and here's where I need to teach you a little bit. The R value. What's it going up by? Five percent. Five percent, so everyone thinks up five percent. Well, I definitely don't want to plug in five, right? You can never plug in the percent. All right, you usually change it to a what? Decimal. Okay, so five percent is what as a decimal? 
0.05 divided by 100, but that's not my R value. Here, watch, ready? I'll show you. She ran how many the first week? Eight, Eight right? Okay, multiply that by 0.05. Uh, she ran 0.4 miles second week. You need to add it. No, right? I need to do what? Add it, right? I, so the next week she ran 8.4. Everyone agrees? So she ran 8. 8.4. What was the little trick I gave you to find the R value? So, oh, wait a second. So now I can take 8.4 and divide it by what to find the R value? 8, and you'll notice something. It's my percent as a decimal with what? One added on to it. Okay, so you always add on one to whatever the percent as a decimal was. So there's my R value, 1.05. Okay, so I always have to have one to it. N again is 18. Over one minus, what was our 1.05? And there are rounding directions here, so nearest whole number. Actually don't have this on me. What do we got? 225. 225? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kate. Why did you do it at minus? I did it again, didn't I? Because I don't know the formula off the top of my head, Kate, and I'm an embarrassment to the math community. That's probably why. Is, not, is that still going to be 225? Mm -hmm. Is that still 225? Yeah. Yeah. Once again, Kate, thanks. God, that fires me up. Two days in a row, and it's you. All good? Please look for the word total. And nobody even asked this, and I'm surprised. Why didn't I just do a sigma? How did I know it was geometric? Could have been arithmetic. All right, could have been arithmetic. Percent. Anytime you're going up by a certain percent, yeah, that's a geometric bad boy. Yep, absolutely. Anytime we're doing percent. I have a yeah, I have a follow up question too. But oh, go ahead. Oh, somebody had a question. No? I have a question on the next one. Okay, can I ask my follow-up? Yeah. What if I said, uh, good old Paisley here, decreases her mileage by 5%? That's not <laughs> it's not going to be 1.05 anymore. Negative. What? Mm -hmm, no. 0.05. What do I do now? 1 minus 0.05. Okay, if she decreases it. Increase, I add the 1. Decrease, I subtract it from 1. Okay, all good? because I know we're leading up into this last problem. Oh, the old fishing company. So now you guys see, due to the population decrease, it decreases by 5% each year. How many total fish in the first 20 years? Everyone see the word total? Because I don't want you guys finding me what I caught in the 20th year. I don't care. It does not matter. I want to see how many total I caught over 20 years. So we'll go S subscript 20. First year, 132,000 fish minus 132,000 again. All right, what would be your R value now? 0.95, right? And if anybody wants to see it, 1 minus 0.05. Raise to the 20th. All over. 1 minus 0.95. Total, total, total. Look for that word total.
decent amount of fish, right? What do we have? A big number. I'm going to trust you here, honey. One million, you mean? I said one million. I said one million six hundred something something. All right, relax. Can I get a confirmation on that one? Okay. Okay. Delta math time. Use the next couple pages for work.